It's a cold October morning, and I'm up early searching for some of Britain's largest mammals. Rowan red deer are native to the UK. In historic times, they've been joined by an additional four species. There are more deer in the UK now than any time since the Ice Age. But as majestic as they are, deer cause huge problems to ecosystems and biodiversity across North America and Europe. So let's look at the evidence and see why deer are such a problem. First of all, why are there so many deer today? Especially since vast areas of Europe and North America are agricultural and surely don't provide habitat. Well, it's not exactly a question of habitat. As humans expanded over Europe, they inevitably bumped into large natural predators, like wolves and other large carnivores. As humans moved from a hunter-gatherer lifestyle to one of a settled livestock farmer, our relationship with large carnivores became increasingly strained. Wolves, once respected as fellow hunters, now became direct competitors. Our juicy and static livestock were too good to resist. And when a species competes with humans, they rarely come out on top. Large carnivores have been effectively wiped out in Western Europe, and populations have severely declined in North America. This caused a trophic cascade, in which the removal of top predators caused effects that rippled down through each trophic level below, causing changes in the food web structure and content and resulted in a very different ecosystem. With no natural predators, deer and other herbivores went crazy, breeding and increasing in abundance exponentially. Lots of deer means lots of foliage is eaten. This can make significant changes to woodland structure, reducing the density of the canopy and shrub layer. Reduced foliage means less food and shelter for smaller animals such as insects. Fewer insects means fewer insect-eating birds and mammals. Little foliage can also mean less cover for woodland birds, which are either predated or avoid these open areas of woodland. In ecology, we call this top-down control, where organisms at higher trophic levels in the food web exert pressures on organisms at lower trophic levels. We'll talk more about trophic cascades in future episodes. Woodlands, of course, provide ecosystem services. This includes carbon storage, but overgrazing by deer can reduce carbon storage significantly, undermining our efforts to alleviate the effects of fossil fuel use. So deer appear to be the bad guys. So what can we do? There are two main ways of managing deer populations, exclusion and culling. Excluding deer from land includes erecting really tall fences so deer can't get in. This method can work, but it's expensive and often is not a viable option. Also, deer are part of the natural ecosystem and excluding them completely can lead to other problems. In the past, culling, essentially killing creatures on a large scale, has been seen as an effective way of controlling deer populations. But with an ever-increasing deer population, is this an option? Management in the past has been based on subjective perceptions of abundance. Deer management must be based on robust, verifiable evidence. Effective control measures should be based on targets and the deer's numbers must be estimated. The issue is further complicated, especially in Scotland, by vast tracts of land being managed purely for maintaining high numbers of deer. And little else for the purposes of stalking, an activity where people pay money to go out and shoot deer. Culls open up a variety of moral and ethical questions too. I certainly stand by the argument that if it's done in a sustainable and economic way, i.e. using deer for food, culls can work. But of course, it's the wider ecological benefits that are most important. So deer are bad? Well, not really they play a key role in temperate ecosystems. And ultimately, it's not the deer who are to blame, it's us. By removing natural predators, we've done a lot of damage. But what we can still do is stop further damage 
retaining as much biodiversity as possible and the huge benefits it provides us.